The SureCut system offers a complete exothermic cutting system that is highly portable and can be used in confined spaces where there is not enough room to use the 10-foot, 6-inch burning bars. It works off the same principle as the big burning bars. It's an exothermic reaction and again is based on a given volume of molten fuel combined with a given volume of oxygen. This system requires only 8 to 10 cubic feet of oxygen per minute and can be used with a single high pressure cylinder. The SureCut holder can be converted from a quarter inch to 3 eighths inch or 3 sixteenths inch diameter rods by simply changing the brass collet in the head. The SureCut system can operate at a very wide range of pressures from 50 to 150 psi depending upon the application. SureCut rods are available in lengths of 18, 24, 36 and 48 inches. Oxylance also offers the 3 8 inch rods in a quick connect version so the rods can be joined together for longer reach and to reduce stub loss. The SureCut rods can be ignited with a 12 volt car battery thus reducing the amount of support equipment required. The operator can control the oxygen volume with the variable flow valve. SureCut rods can be used to make small cuts in heavy plate or to pierce starter holes in plate for shape cutting machines. SureCut rods work extremely well for gouging applications where the operator does not have a welding machine and air compressor to run the arc gouge. Gouging can be performed at much faster rates than a carbon arc process. When the gouge is complete, there's no carbon residue to be ground out of the steel. For gouging, the oxygen pressure can be varied to give the operator more precise control. The SureCut system is ideal for companies performing maintenance on heavy equipment. It is also used by fire and rescue personnel for breaching operations and rescue work. Companies like Boots and Coots use this system when they are putting out oil well fires. The system can cut underwater, affording them the capability of keeping their personnel under a heavy spray of water and still be able to cut into oil field conductors or to cut the heavy bolts off the wellhead flanges. Surecut rods are ideal for removing frozen pins. With the smaller diameter rods, pins as small as 3 quarters inch can be pierced and removed from heavy equipment. Larger pins can be removed from equipment where access is limited and there's not enough room to use the big bar. The SureCut system requires all the same safety precautions required for burning bars. The biggest difference in the two systems is the oxygen pressure and volume required for the SureCut system. The oxygen pressure for the SureCut rods can be varied from 40 to 150 psi and the volume between 4 and 10 cubic feet per minute. Always use the correct size collet for the rod being used. By changing the collet, the operator can use three different size rods, 3 sixteenths, 1 quarter, and 3 eighths. When inserting the rod into the holder, ensure that the rod goes all the way through the collet and seats in the rubber grommet. The collet is the electrical contact for the arc process. Prior to using the system, inspect the threads on the collet nut and on the collet bolt. Check the collet for damage or wear and inspect the rubber grommet. Replace any parts that show signs of wear or damage. The SureCut system is equipped with an anti-slag safety device. For normal cutting, Set the pressure between 70 and 90 PSI, depending on the thickness of the material being cut. Thicker material requires higher pressure. For gouging, the pressure can be adjusted between 40 and 90 PSI to give the operator more control over the amount of material removed. Gouging requires that the SureCut rod is held almost parallel to the material being gouged. For piercing operations, the pressure can be adjusted from 70 to 150 PSI, depending on the length of the material to be pierced. Deeper piercings require higher pressure. When piercing, the operator has to keep the rod moving in and out of the cut to keep the slag moving out of the cut and to prevent the rod from sticking. For some piercing applications, the operator may want to use the optional insulated rods. For all applications where a welding machine is going to be used and the material will always be grounded, you should use the insulated rod. Insulated rods can be used underwater or can be used with a welding machine where the material being cut is grounded and the operator is constantly arcing the rod during the cut. In this video, we will remove a frozen pin from the gantry assist cylinder on a Manitowoc 888 crane. The owners of the crane have spent a day and a half with a 60-ton porta power trying to remove the pin and had not moved it at all. The pin was 4 inches in diameter and 10 inches long. To facilitate accurately piercing the pin, the operator welds a base plate and a shield plate to the pin. In this case, the base plate is 4 inches wide and 6 inches long. It gives the operator a firm base to lay the exothermic rod on to keep it centered in the pin. The shield plate can be as large as the operator wants it to be. In this case, the shield plate is also 4 inches by 6 inches. 
The shield plate serves two functions. It prevents slag from coming back on the operator, and it provides a guide to secure the rod in the center of the pin. The completed base plate and guide plate should look like this. The operator can pre-burn a hole in the shield plate, or when he is ready, he can pierce the guide hole in the shield with the sure cut rod. We recommend that the shield plate is a minimum of one quarter inch thick. The sure cut system is simple to set up. First, attach an oxygen regulator and the sure cut oxygen hose to a standard industrial high pressure oxygen cylinder. Next, attach the welding lead and ground to the car battery. In this case, we're using the battery in the Crane Company service truck. You can also use an automotive booster pack or a welding machine set at a maximum of 150 amps. The system is not polarity sensitive, so you can hook the welding lead from the holder to either positive or negative terminal on the battery. Hook the ground lead with the striker plate to the other battery terminal. The SureCut system does not require a continuous arc, so the operator lays the ground lead and copper striker plate on the ground or on a board. Do not place it on the piece of equipment that is being worked on. Attaching the striker plate to the equipment will result in an electrical arc while burning and can cause the rod to burn out the side or damage bearings in the piece of equipment being worked on. Ignite the rod by arcing the tip of the rod on the striker plate and slowly open the oxygen control valve until the rod is burning. After piercing the hole in the shield, the operator stops and checks the hole to make sure it is centered on the pin before making the pierce through the length of the pin. The operator starts the pierce by pushing the tip of the rod into the end of the pin. Once the pierce is started, the operator keeps the sure cut rod constantly moving to prevent the slag from freezing up around the pin and causing it to stick. After the initial pierce, the operator then enlarges the hole to remove more material from the center of the pin. By removing more material from the center of the pin, when it is cooled, it will have more room to shrink. Noise level testing performed by SMO SIS LLC shows that sure cut rods generate less noise during typical operations than other methods of gouging, such as arc gouging. Average dB rating is 92 dBA. You can allow the pin to cool naturally, or if water is available, you can quench the pin with water. Quenching the pin rapidly will cause it to shrink more than air cooling. Once the pin is cooled down, the operator uses a 30-ton porta power to push the pin out. The stroke on this particular porta power was fairly short, so the operator had to make spacers to provide the necessary length to push the pin out. Notice that the guide plate and shield are covered with slag. This slag would have been blown back on the operator if this system wasn't utilized. During the removal, when the pin would stop moving, the operator shocked it by hitting with a hammer. The operator secures the cylinder with the chain to prevent it from swinging out of control when the pin is removed. When it was pushed out of the cylinder, the operator was able to remove the pin from the frame by hand. The total length of time to remove this pin was about an hour. Notice the end of the pin. By using the guide plate and the shield, the operator is able to keep the shear cut rod centered on the pin. Also notice in the last photo, the heat ring around the shield plate and the slag stuck to the shield. The first priority at OxyLance is safety. Do not perform cutting operations without first reading all safety material and reviewing OSHA and ANSI requirements. A thorough understanding of fire is necessary in order to safely use any oxygen cutting system, whether it is oxyacetylene or burning bars. Fire is a chemical reaction that combines fuel, heat, and oxygen. Increasing the available fuel, heat, or percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere has a drastic effect on the fire. Oxygen is an odorless, tasteless, non-flammable gas that makes up 21% of our atmosphere. In chemical terms, oxygen is an oxidizer. Even though oxygen is non-flammable, it supports combustion. Flammability of materials increases as the concentration of oxygen increases. When the percentage of oxygen in the